Hello everyone, my name is Paul and we're back to Pokemon Y Shiny Hunting episode 174, Lapras. If you don't watch the last episode, why did you? And this episode's topic is by me. Um, you must have played the mod to answer this, and if you even care about it, of course. But, have you ever gotten any Pokemon to level 100? And if you, and if you did, I mean, and did you keep those Pokemon since the beginning? on your team in Pixelmon? Uh, for me, yes I have, but I didn't train them like, I trained them most of the time, but uh, I just had, I knew, I knew a friend, well no, we're not friends now, but um, that just gave me a bunch of rare candies, so I like, was able to speed up my train, oh wait, no, 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 there's like a currency in the game, and um, you can build up money by like, best thing was like chopping wood, and there's like a, uh, what's it called a server plugin where you can like you can have certain skills and the wood cutting skill you can do uh chop the bottom and it'll chop the whole tree and uh you can pretty much sell a bunch of wood you're gonna get a lot of money and um yeah the best one was with the was the um the dark oak because they were like they were like big like jungle trees and uh they were easy to find the saplings so it was like really good and of course it drops the saplings too, uh, also drops the wood, but uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, pretty much there would always be someone who would have a bunch of rare candies being sold on the auction market or something like that, or the player shops, and then yeah, I would, me and my friend just buy them and then we get like, we'd like pretty much have level 100s in no time, so I would, I originally always used uh, the Pokemon Nido King. Uh, in the Pixelmon, just because I just I'll get into it more into another topic because that is for another topic. But um, but yeah. So anyway, yeah. So um, yes, I have. But uh, was it actually just training from experience? I no, it wasn't. Not 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 even like half of it. I don't think maybe half, but no. Like most of it was rare candies, and uh, we we did spend hard work to get the rare candies, but. But yeah, so it's like, I guess I did, so. Those are the only ones I really remember that I got to level 100. Uh, just for real in Pixelmon. So, uh, yeah, I have kept them in the beginning uh, on my team, so, uh, so yeah. So, have you gotten any Pokemon to level 100 in, uh, in Pixelmon, and have you had them in the beginning on your team? Uh, I'm just curious to know if you even care about the mod, of course. But anyway, uh, so it's annoying. Last episode just cut off again. So once again, it's glitched to almost be two gigabytes. I don't know why the crap it does this, but it just does. But anyway, I was talking last episode about the uh, Pikachu and the power plants, and uh, you have to go in there to find the gym leader anyway, and you gotta help to turn off the electricity to stop that Pikachu from powering itself. And uh, anyway, this time it was level 15, so it was like it was crazy higher level. And somehow it already has Thunderbolt, so that was a load of crap. Because <laughs> Pikachu doesn't learn Thunderbolt until like level 20 something, like almost level 30. So that's a load of crap that it had that move. So yeah, it was uh, it was crazy. So anyway, um, so yeah, I think that I don't think I got any HMs. So I'm trying to think if I did or not. Um. No, I don't think I did yet, or any TMs like Flash, that they consider TMs, Flash, or any of that stuff, so, yeah, so it's pretty, uh, pretty normal when it comes to that, but, um, oh, there's a hair on mine too, yes, get the heck out of here, anyway, um, yeah, so, so what was I gonna say, um, oh yeah, I was right, so anyway, after I got defeated at Pikachu, I just exited the power plant, and then I went to take on the gym, and yeah, it's pretty interesting, because it's an electric type gym, and it's cool because they're all, like, next to a car, and they're mechanics, and the gym leader's a mechanic, and it's really funny, it's really awesome, and it's a really cool design, and the, the road, the town itself had, like, uh, roads, like if there were gonna be cars, <laughs> which there could be cars in Pokemon, but, uh, it's funny because one of the NPCs, like, like, there's not actually cars here, so why are there these fancy roads? It just makes no sense. 
it's funny, it's pretty funny, but um, it's a really cool dish that you can also talk to the Pokemon, because they talk to you like you're, like, uh, you both are, like, the same, well, you, you don't have to be the same species to be able to talk to someone, but um, it was cool that you were able to understand them, and it's, it's so awesome, it's a really awesome little addition, it's really cool, and I really enjoy it, so, um, also, before I went into the gym, Someone said they just got the gym badge and uh, just challenged me, and I was like, okay, and then defeated them, but I guess it's another rival, so I have, it seems I have three rivals so far, one being the Pikachu. <laughs> That's like the first time ever, I think, I had a, in like these, in these uh, RPG Pokemon game, uh, type games, uh, that you have a rival as a Pokemon, it's pretty awesome, and now you're able to actually <laughs> talk with them as well. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool, because I, cause I know in uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, you have the, well, at least it's Red Rescue Team, and I think there's, I think there's Blue Rescue Team as well, but anyway, that's the first uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon that was created, uh, but anyway, you have the team, uh, the team, the bad team is the Coughing, Ekans, and then the Gengar, so it's like, that, those are like rivals, but you're Pokemon as well, so it's like, it's like normal, so it's, so yeah, but uh, it's pretty cool, it's cool to have a lot of rivals, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great game so far, I, after I beat the gym leader, oh yeah, that's right, I never told you, so, the gym leader had some tough stuff, had a Luxio, had a, I believe a Magnemite, maybe not a Magnemite, actually, uh, I think, I don't remember, but I know it had a, no, I know he had a, a Luxio, and then he had a Jolteon being his best at level 20. That's why I grinded my Pokemon up to level 23. But, um, yeah, that Luxio, it was, it had crazy moves. It had Crunch, Super Power, Iron Tail, and Thunder Shock. Like, oh my gosh, jeez. I don't even, I don't even know how it's possible how that thing has Super Power on it. I know it probably can learn Iron Tail by TM, but Super Power isn't a TM. Maybe it's like you can breed? and get that move, that's crazy, like, that's a really powerful fighting type move, under 20 power, if you don't remember, I explained that in another video, um, fighting type move, 120 power, 100 accuracy, the only bad thing about it is, uh, it lowers your attack and defense each time you use it, so it just gets worse every time, and your other moves get worse as well, for, if their attacks, and of course your defense falls, so it's like, I really wouldn't care about that part, but it's just the attack that falls, so it sucks, but anyway, yeah, it was, it was crazy. And the Jolteon wasn't that bad. I think, I forget what the Jolteon had exactly. But, um, yeah, it's, it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then when you beat the gym leader, you actually get the TM Thunderbolt. So it's like, okay, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> but I sold it because I don't use, I don't use TMs like that. But, uh, yeah, so. Anyway, so it was pretty awesome. Then I made it to, you actually have to buy a ticket to ride the boat to the next place. So it's pretty cool. So I'm just in the town exploring the next town, so, uh, yeah, that's where I left off, so, it's a pretty awesome one, it's a pretty amazing game so far, let's just hope it doesn't crash, because out of nowhere, it's floor sky, just went bye-bye, so that's disappointing, but, uh, oh well, and I got my Pokemon floor sky, like, like, level 41 at least, and it was like, they were like really high levels, so it's really disappointing, but it's oh well, like I said. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, really excited to play some more Pokemon Glaze, but I got a lot to do today, still got to take a shower later, maybe, most likely lunch, um, what else? Yeah, also gotta do the laundry stuff, because I put in, actually folded some laundry that was done drying, I had to put some in the wash, put some in the dryer. And yeah, it was a lot of stuff, and then also it got later today, because it's Saturday, not Saturday, but it's Thursday, I'll be checking if there's any updates on my computer, and just uh, cleaning my keyboard, and just checking on my computer and my computer screen if there's any dirt or anything like that, just so I can prepare for tomorrow, Friday, so that my computer gets all cleaned, like digitally. But, yeah, so, um, that's what's up with that. I got a lot of, a lot of stuff to do today. And, yeah, so, 
So anyway, might as well just talk about the YouTube videos I watch. So the pretty funny ones. Um, one of them being, um, one of them being a compilation of best moments like funny moments by Van Alex. Most of them were I think Gmod ones, yeah. The Gmod uh Death Run ones. But some of them were. And it was just funny. A lot of the moments were were just really funny. And then he moved on to the I am Wildcat uh misspeaking uh just compilation like he he says like weird stuff or something like that. And then anyways, um the YouTuber that I subscribe to their videos um one was by basically i do work um there's actually a new game called human fall flat and it's cool because they uh he's playing with vanos big jiggly panda h2o delirious dai Zenoga, and uh it was really cool because i think they got their custom skins because they're popular i guess they're just well known or, or i don't know maybe you just you can just make your own skin i don't know but it was uh it was pretty cool because it was like it looked like gang beast the game gang beast they if you watch them you probably have seen it but it looks like that kind of where those uh those uh how that's how you play the game but you just actually explore and get past certain obstacles and you can lift yourself up places and it's pretty cool in the video they were just uh they're learning how to climb up stuff because uh H2O Delirious it was like the last one to figure out, and uh, but then anyway, they finally all figured it out, and yeah, then they started doing the puzzles, so this one, you had to use this long wooden plank to use as a bridge, yeah, a bridge, to be able to walk across, because there's a big gap, you gotta go up the stairs, and then that's how you get through the door, and then there's a bunch of, uh, this thing called parkour, where you you jump through, jump on a lot of obstacles and they had to get to that. And my favorite part was probably when, uh, when they actually had to catapult rocks to break a wall and catapult themselves to get over, like over a ravine, to get over into a castle. And it's really awesome. And, uh, basically I do work, said, uh, well, put it at the end of the video next time on Human Fall Fly. So that game like is really awesome so far. It's really awesome. <laughs> Looks like a really fun game. And um what else did I watch? Um Yeah, definitely one from Iron Wildcat A World War Two video again. That one they just did a lot of the normal stuff and it's uh it's pretty funny. But, uh, what else? Um, I'm trying to think of the other, the other videos. I don't really, I don't really know if there was any more that I, that I watched. Yeah, I think it was just those two from the videos that I, uh, the YouTubers I subscribed to in the subscriptions. Their new videos that I watched. Yeah, because like I said, I didn't have that much time, so... So, uh, yeah, but it was pretty awesome still. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what else to talk about. Because now I'm stuck again and what to talk about. Sorry. Um, yeah, well, I think I'm pretty sure we'll check one more for the episode. Alright, we'll check one more for the episode. Unless it crashes on us. Let's just hope it doesn't crash the recording. Like, it just ends early. Because last time I made it to, like... 14 minutes, around 20 seconds, I think, but let's see, because, uh, yeah, I, I feel like it's going to crash, if it does, I'm sorry, ahead of time, let's hope it doesn't, I made it farther than last time, come on, push it to the limit, <laughs> dang it, okay, bye Lapras, I've been your host, Palm Samayoi, and